So we're going to talk about these sticks here and why they're great trainers for Polish Sabre. They're great trainers because historically that's what they did. They played a game called Pulsati, and Pulsati is essentially single stick without the basket. And there's a lot of ways you can play the game, and the particular way that we like to play is, first of all, no hand protection, so good, make sure you put on a nice glove, something solid, because you are going to be targeting the hand. A simple stick, this is cheap, right? It lacks the curve, you got to remember that, but it's cheap. And the way that we do this is usually a king of the hill. You have one person who's going to be the king. That person ignores afterblows and doubles. They can essentially cheat. Everybody else in line has to try to hit the king, primarily in the hand or head. You can maybe do other targets as well, like the body or legs, if you like. Uh, but you should avoid thrusting to try to stay within the historical context of the game. If I'm able to strike him and escape before he strikes me back, right, or I parry, um, then I become the king, and then I'm immune to doubles and afterblows. The instructor who's watching them do this, the king isn't the one we're really focusing on. They're cheating, right? They're going to get a lot of glory because they're going to win a lot, but they are cheating. We're interested in the students because for the student to overcome the king, they actually have to work really hard because they aren't immune to doubles and afterblows. So a neat game you guys can play right away if you want to learn how to do Polish Saber is the game of Pulsati. And you can find out rules for it and examples and all sorts of stuff in my book, Polish Saber. New queen! Yay! 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 Thank <laughs> you.